Hi everybody, let's try to resolve this problem. Um, simplify the expression. The expression that we have is 180 minus 90 plus 1 half x in parentheses, the entire thing divided by 2. So first thing we do is we remove the parentheses. When we remove the parentheses in this example, in this uh, expression, in this problem, what happens is um, a, a, if when there is a negative sign before the parentheses, change the sign of each term in the parentheses. So when we open the parentheses, uh, we say negative 90 because here we have positive 90, that becomes negative 90, and then plus 1 half x becomes minus 1 half x divided by 2. And then we do the subtraction, subtract the numbers. So 180 minus 90 is 90, and we have 90 minus 1 half x over 2. Now we write all the numerators above the common denominator, and we use the mathematical formula or the understanding a equals a over 1 to convert the expression into a fraction. So yeah, any number divided by 1 is the same number. So here we have 90, so since it's 90 we can just say 90 over 1, it means the same thing, minus 1 half x, the whole thing is divided by 2. And here what we do is we expand the fraction to get the least common denominator. Now since we have two on this side, but we have one on this side, so in order to work on the numerators, we need to have the denominators as the same number. So in order to make this one as two, we need to multiply this as by two, and when we, if we multiply the denominator in this expression by two, we also need to apply the same rule on the numerator. So we multiply by two on, um, on the numerator side and the denominator side in this expression. So here we get multiply the numbers, uh, any expression times 1 is the same expression. So uh, th that is for this part. 1 times x is x. Okay, 1 times x is x. So here we x over here. So 90 times 2 is 180 and 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 180 over 2 minus x over 2. So now since the denominators are common, we can work on the numerators. So here we have write all the numbers above the common denominator. So 180 minus x can be written together with the common denominator. We still have the divide by 2 part to be addressed. So what do we do further down here is simplify the complex expression or complex fraction. So again we're using a equals a over 1 to convert the expression into a fraction. Uh, what we have here is 180 minus x over 2 divided by 2. So what? So over here we wrote this 2 as 2 over 1. Okay, using the understanding or formula, mathematical formula, a equals a over 1. All right, and then what happens is uh, using the formula a over b, the whole thing divided by c over d equals a times d over b times c. Once again, a over b, the entire expression divided by c over d is equal to, is same as, a times d over b times c. This is how we simplify the complex fraction. So over here, <clears throat> we have 180 minus x times 1 over 2 times 2. So since this is our a, b, c, and d, so 180 times 180 minus x is our a. So times 1, because 1 is our d, right? over 2 times 2 because it's b times c so our b is 2 and our c is 2 so 2 times 2 all right so any expression times 1 is the same expression so 180 minus x times 1 is 180 minus x 2 times 2 is 4 multiply the numbers in denominator we did that so the solution is 180 minus x over 4 this is for the graph purpose if you want to draw a graph for that using that expression if Okay, and you can do the graph using a scientific calculator. If you want to uh, get the solution for angles and triangles, for an angle of a triangle, for example, 180 minus x over 4 can be further simplified as 180 over 4 minus x over 4, which is 45 minus x over 4, and that can be written as 45 minus 
one fourth x. Alrighty, hope this helps. Thank you.